Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Ivan Kalash from Komenius University, Bratislava, Slovakia, and I have three short comments to make. Uh, I'm responsible for future teachers' education in my country, mostly for future teachers of what we call informatics, but I'm also involved in uh, developing digital literacy of all kinds of teachers. And my first comment is that in my country, at least, I feel there is a big gap between educational research and teachers. And I think it's very important to uh, show to our teachers how, how important research is for them. As we heard today uh, from Andrea, I think, in the morning, as soon as we start asking questions, uh, we need research methods to, to find proper answers. Uh, at least in my country, our teachers have no respect to educational research. So I find this very important to work on it. Uh, we, we, are, we have often during these days referred to action research. We maybe we have to think about also some new methodologies of qualitative research, for example, for uh, helping us, supporting us to find answers to our questions. Uh, the second point is that actually I'm, I'm dreaming, I'm working in the field of, of uh, finding ways how to harness the potential of digital technologies uh, in teaching learning processes. And I feel like we are sometimes missing the point. I'm referring now to uh, educational software. Uh, I would like to mention Alan Kay and his ideas from, from 70s. He was dreaming about this Dynabook concept, mm -hmm. and when there was a recently an anniversary of this idea, uh, he was asked, do we already have your Dynabook? And he said, no, because of software, because we don't have the quality of software I was always dreaming about. And I think that it's very important to somehow reinvent the potential of educational software. Uh, I'm, 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 okay. I am. Uh, <laughs> I was off the cross. You were off the cross. Somebody say up So actually, I think that there is much more in in educational software, which we really see in what uh, producers are giving us. Uh, I'm again referring to tools which make it possible for children to create things to mod model things, to, to simulate, to just to create something, their products. Mm -hmm. And here I'm back to what Boženka asked about constructivism. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's even more diffi difficult because there are two kinds of constructivism. Constructivism and constructionism, yes. invented by Samuel Peppert. And actually it goes in, in one line with uh, Piaget and Vygotsky. Mm -hmm. He's only stressing the importance of producing a product. Children want to learn. They are, they are strong learners if they have chance to produce something. And we have to give them support through much better educational software than we, than we are doing now. Mm -hmm. And my third and, and uh, last comment is about programming. Actually, my background is computer science as well, many, many years ago. And s since I graduated, I was dreaming about computer science or informatics, we say, informatics and education. And I was looking for ways how to use informatics to support humane part of education, not, technolo not technological. Mm. Uh, I was always trying to avoid this technocratism. So when I'm talking about programming, I'm not talking about developing software engineers, computer scientists, I'm thinking about how should we implement programming for every child, for girls and boys since primary school? This is my main concern in, in, in these years. We are trying to find, well, it, it doesn't, it's not that important if we call it programming or computational thinking or educational robotics or whatever. It's about giving children chance to think about future plans to externalize a behavior of something, of an object, of anything, and think about these plans, which, well, let, let's call them programming, programs. 
And I'm very happy about new environments like Scratch, like Kodu, which was mentioned today here as well, about many others. They are really bringing the power of new, well, new, new possibilities of computer. We are still waiting for some new generation of Scratch because we, we are still missing some important features there. And Mitch Resnick promised to do this next year. Uh, so I think it's very important to somehow reinvent proper programming for everybody, for, for general education, not for computer scientists. Mm. Okay, so I think that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>